Hey guys, remember my tablet? Uh, it's a Cube i7 stylus. And it's an awesome tablet, but um, if there was one thing I would really like to change, it would be the Wi Fi. It's got an RTL 8723U, I think. Um, wi Fi and Bluetooth combination chip on board. And it is positively one of the worst Wi-Fi chipsets on the market across different uh, products. Like it's not a driver issue. It's not an implementation issue or anything. It has fairly poor Wi-Fi reception. It has bad throughput and it regularly uh, just interrupts the connection or completely drops and you have to restart. So that is really a deal breaker for a tablet, obviously. Uh, so I'm going to replace it because why not with this? Uh, unfortunately, this does not have built-in Bluetooth, so I will be losing Bluetooth functionality, but I'm willing to uh, make that sacrifice mostly because I don't actually use the Bluetooth on this tablet. Uh, there are unfortunately no good USB Wi-Fi Bluetooth combination sticks out there. You would have to uh, like build in a USB hub and then attach a Bluetooth stick, something like um, like this inside there and maybe do it that way. Uh, I might do a, a video on that as well because I am planning to do a USB a full port mod on this as well, but uh, not today. Today we're just going to replace the Wi-Fi. Now I've actually got a lot of comments on my original Cube i7 videos. And one of the comments was, uh, hey, I was working on the insides of the Cube i7 and I think I shorted something. And now uh, everything is broken. Uh, top tip. Remove the battery connector before you do anything on this tablet. Uh, I will be <laughs> removing it. Uh, I will have to get out the whole motherboard actually. Uh, because there is just such a risk that there are so many contacts on there that, that you can short and that can just immediately uh, brick your entire tablet. So uh, don't be stupid. Disconnect power before you do anything. Now the question you'll probably be asking is, uh, this here is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth module. How are you going to replace that with a USB stick? And actually the answer is surprisingly easy. Uh, this module is actually just physically a USB module. Uh, it's got the four USB contacts on this side and then it's got the antenna uh, contacts on the other side. Actually has two, uh, or at least these modules, these are standard modules. They have two antenna outputs, but in this case, the uh, RGL 8723BU only has one actual antenna uh, connected up. So they only outfitted it with one. So basically this module is going to be soldered out using my hot air setup. Uh, also, by the way, this has the Bluetooth contacts on this side, but you can basically just ignore those. Uh, so, solder that out. Uh, desolder the USB connector, obviously, from this. Desolder the antenna connector, and then make wires to the USB contacts and uh, to the actual antenna coax. And that should basically be it. All right, so I've made a couple of modifications to the USB stick. Uh, I've removed the USB connector. Uh, I have also, let's see if I can point this out. Uh, right there, I've removed the LED because it's gonna be kind of useless. Removed the button and I removed the DC to DC converter, which converted the five volts from USB to 3.3 volts because the, um, the little module connector uh, already provides 3.3 volts, so we don't need the DC to DC converter. Also, I have just uh, made a couple of wires to here because I will be mounting this almost directly to the antenna.
and here it is installed in the unit so we see the antenna is basically directly connected and then the other connections the ground connection i've tried to keep it as short as possible so i put it to the nearest ground point i could find and then the uh, usb data plus minus and the uh, 3.3 volts go all the way basically the same way that the original antenna connector uh, went and they're connected directly to the pads there. Uh, sorry about this sudden uh, <laughs> change of venue. Uh, I tried to start up the tablet to see if it worked and um, it wouldn't start, but apparently that is because the battery was dead. So uh, anyway, we've now got a USB 2 WLAN and uh, all I have to do <laughs> is connect uh, a USB stick with the actual drivers because apparently Windows doesn't have the default drivers for this USB stick. So I'm going to do that and uh, then we'll have good internet again. Well, the uh, drivers have been installed and before with the Realtek chipset, I couldn't even get uh, like even in the house. I am not far from my router. I'm like three meters from my, well, from my wireless repeater. Uh, I wouldn't even be able to even get close to my internet speed, which is 15 megabits up and down. So uh, let's uh, see if this will fare better. Yep, 30 megs. I'm actually downloading something in the background, so wouldn't be too surprised if that's not just due to the wireless but yeah i would i would get like 2 to 10 mega megabits per second and i would get very intermittent uh, performance as well this is pretty good so i'm happy with that it works so this is how you retrofit a usb stick into your tablet hope you liked the video and hope it was uh, useful for somebody because the stock Wi-Fi chipset in this thing is just utter trash. So uh, see you next time.